Hi everyone, I'm Rihanna from A Frugal Life and today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can open your own online Etsy store selling t-shirts of your own custom design with no special software. So I'm going to show you three websites that will help you do this. You can spend less than $20, maybe even less than $10 to get started depending on how far you want to go into the business. I'm going to show you all the steps step by step. So even if you're not super computer savvy, you can do this and you can do this with no graphic design abilities at all. So the websites I'm going to show you are going to help you do it. You can make money online from home with no problems. Your kids can help you out with the designs. Whatever you like, you can involve the whole family. So let me start by showing you my screen. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go to Google or Yahoo, whatever browser you tend to use, and come up here to the top. So I'm going to show you the first website you need, which is Etsy. So if you're not an Etsy shopper, it's www.e tsy.com. I do have my own shop, of course, already, but I started out from the beginning here so I can show you where to register. So this is Etsy. You can purchase things on here. You can sell all sorts of things on here, but I'm going to show you how you can sell t-shirts on here and you don't have to make the t-shirts. You don't have to ship the t-shirts. It's all going to be print on demand. So I click this sign up button here at the top and then you'll see that you can register. And then you can either put in your email address, your first name, and a password, but then you have to remember that. Or you can just click on continue with Facebook or continue with Google if you have a Google email address and it will log in automatically for you. I actually do continue with Facebook on mine and that way I never have to remember an extra password. So I'm going to close this out and log into mine so you can see what an Etsy store looks like from the back end. So this is my main page here. If I come up to the top, I'll see my account, my purchases and reviews, account settings, things like that. But I want to go to my shops. So if I go up here to the little shop button, you'll see on the left-hand side, you can open as many sales channels as you want. So I have my little Etsy channel right here, and that's what I'm gonna be selling on. Um, so I already created this shop. If you wanted to create your own shop, you can create your own Etsy shop here um, and then it will always appear on the left hand side. So if I click on this little button, this is my Etsy shop and you can see that I've created a banner. I will show you how to do that. I've created the profile right here. So once you create your shop the first time, it's going to ask you to choose a name. I just chose a name that I like. You can choose a subtitle, your location. You can put your profile picture, which I do recommend. And then as you add products to the shop, they're going to appear down here. So I'm going to show you how to create t-shirts like this that will sell on Etsy. Um, and I'm going to show you how to add them directly to the shop from the location where you're going to print them from. So the first thing we need to do is create your Etsy shop. So if you have not done that, come over here on the left-hand side and click the button to create a shop and follow the directions step-by-step step to log in and create the additional information. So next site we're going to need is Canva. So Canva is where we're going to create our first listing. So I want to create the design for you and then show you how to put it on a t-shirt. So we're going to go to www.canva. Dot com. This is where a little bit of that $20 comes in. So if you want to, you can come in here and create a professional account. I recommend you start out with the free account, create your design, and then decide whether you want to upgrade to the professional account. The professional account gives you some additional features as well as like branding uh, kit information, content planners, things like that. But you can definitely use just the free one if you want to start out with your first few designs and do them totally free. So let's make a t-shirt design now that we're going to put on a shirt. So I'm going to create a design and I just need a custom size here so that I can start with something. So I usually do an eight by 10 design. So I'm going to do custom size. Eight by 10 is the most recent one I use. So it popped up here. If I hadn't though, I could put an eight by 10. It's actually going to need to change to inches here and then come back in here. So I could have changed it to inches first and 10 and then create design. And you can create any size design you want. I find this one works good to scale down onto a t-shirt. So on the left-hand side here, you will see there are all sorts of things you can do. The first thing we need to do is create a design for the t-shirt. And I'm just gonna leave the back blank like this um, so that I can create the t-shirt design and then I will pop it onto a black t-shirt. Um, so first of all, I'm going to get some ideas for a t-shirt. So I'm gonna come in here to Etsy 
And I do not recommend copying other people's ideas, but you can use uh, similar sayings and pictures and things like that if you don't have something in mind already. So I've been wanting to do a chicken mom shirt because I know that's a good niche. People like it and I own chickens, so I'm passionate about it. So I know um, what I might wanna put on the shirt. So these are the different chicken mom shirts that are selling. Um, you'll see that these are probably the most popular because they, if you come down here, um, they always put the most popular things on top because that's what's selling the most. So I'm going to come up here and I actually have seen this design before. I love my ladies. This is um, one that's on a metal sign. Um, so I'm not going to be copying a t-shirt. I just kind of like the saying and I'm going to put my own um, style in there. So it's not copyrighted. It's okay to do that. Um, or I could put my own words in here and just kind of get the same idea. So a lot of chicken moms call their chickens their girls or their ladies. So I think I'm going to do I love my girls and I'm going to get some chickens on there and maybe some hearts and let's go back to Canva and I'll show you how. So first thing I'm going to do is place the chickens. So here on the left hand side, I want elements. So I could upload photos if I wanted to get some free photos online, but photos don't print really well on picture on on t-shirts um, or I could do uploads of my own graphics if you design um, your own graphics if you're great at drawing you can do that I'm not super great at drawing so I'm going to choose elements I'm going to put in chicken and then I'm going to find one that looks cute so I don't want one that's actually chicken that we're going to eat right I'm talking about um, chickens that I have in my backyard for eggs. I want something super cute. Uh, so this one's cute. If I click on this, you'll see that it brings up similar style, color styles. Um, you can click on magic recommendations and see all. And it'll bring up some of the color styles, obviously not really what I want there. So I'm gonna get rid of this chicken by clicking on it. And I saw some cute chickens before when I did it by color. So I'm gonna come up here and do pink chicken because it's gonna be a cartoon, right? So these are adorable, right? So we're gonna pick a few of these to go together. So I'll pick this chicken and this chicken and this chicken. Now, if you can see, these all say pro on them. I'm able to get them because I am a pro member. I pay $12.99 a month to get Canva Pro and that means I can get unlimited pro pictures. Um, if you are not a pro member, you'll need to pick ones that say free. So you'll see there are ones that say free under them and I can come up here and search by free as well. So that will drill down to just the free ones. So you can use just the free pictures if you want. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot less free ones. So pro is kind of worth it if you're going to be designing for selling. Um, and then the other thing you wanna do is make sure that these are okay to use for sale. So if I right click on them right here, um, it's gonna tell me hen, uh, free for Canva Pro. If I click on the additional thing, it says you can use this media safely in a Canva design for personal or commercial use. That's what you want to look like. You want to make sure that you always have one that says for commercial use so that you can um, use it in a design that you're going to sell in a t-shirt. So for this particular one, I actually look like the look of them walking together. So I'm just kind of going to move them around till they look cute. Just move them around so they're gonna fit on your t-shirt design. And then this is gonna be on a black t-shirt. If you ha are just starting out, it has been proven, go to Wholesale Ted and a bunch of other resellers of t-shirts, they will confirm that their black t-shirts sell the best. So I have been trying to create black t-shirt designs to sell the best. On black t-shirt design, light colors look best in pictures. So these are gonna look great on a black t-shirt. So I'm gonna come in here and give it some text. On the left-hand side, you can see text, and then you have some options here. So you could do already prepared text like this, and you could go, I love my girls, or my ladies, like the license plate we saw. Or you could actually do this via the heading, the subheading, or the little bit of body text. So it comes in, at, a certain color. If you want to go back, you can just click undo, undo, undo up here on the left hand side. Um, if you do your own text like this, you can click and drag it. You can change the words. You can drag it bigger or smaller. You can copy it if you want to, copy and paste it. If I drag it, you can see that I copied and pasted it. Oh, I 
didn't copy and paste it. There we go. I copied and pasted it. Delete that extra one. So anything you could typically do in a graphics design program, you can pretty much do in Canva. So we're going to come up here. If I want to make the font bigger, I can type in a bigger font. Or if I want to just do it a little increment at a time to see how it looks, I can click on it and just click the arrows up and down until it's the size that I want. I can also change the font. So if I do this, it's going to change the font and it actually will show you the different fonts that you have. I actually really like this font. So I'm going to put I love in this font. That's a good size for a t-shirt because it's a little bit close to the picture. I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going to change the color. So up here under text color, this says document colors. So up here, document colors are the colors that match the chicken. So that's really great if you can match the colors in your pictures. If you don't want to, you could just do white. Now white is gonna be hard to see on this once you click over it because um, you can't see the white. But if you click and highlight it, you'll be able to see that it's there. Um, sometimes I will put it in a different color and then change it to white right before I download. Um, white looks great on a black t-shirt. I'm actually gonna choose a color that matches my chickens for this one. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna do a light color because the light is gonna look great on a black t-shirt. I love, you can barely see it here, but it's gonna show up great on the t-shirt. And now I need to do something for the chickens. So I'm gonna borrow this confetti one, just delete the top part and change this to chickens. And then if I drag this down here, it can go underneath. And I'm gonna change this to the same color as I love. And then of course I need my, so I forgot my in here. Next to I love, my, and now it has I love my chickens. And this is gonna be a cute design for a t-shirt, simple, pink, a lot of people like pink, um, very farm country style. And now we're going to download it. So we'll download. And the thing you want to do is make sure it's a high quality. So I always put it in PNG, which is high quality. I up the size as far as it'll go because it'll shrink down on the t-shirt. And then I hit transparent background. You absolutely want a transparent background. Otherwise, you're going to have this white on your t-shirt. So now we're going to click download. And that's it. It took me five minutes to create this t-shirt design for you. So now I'm gonna show you how to put it in your Etsy store so that you don't have to pack, ship, or make your t-shirt. So if we come back to Etsy store, we could just add products to the Etsy store down here. I would go to listings on the left-hand side, add a listing. I don't wanna do this because I want it to connect to a print-on-demand service. So I'm gonna use Printful. I have researched up and down the different options and Printful is my favorite so far. They have good prices and they have a really easy interface for new people. So I'm gonna to come to Printful. P-R-I-N-T-F-U-L.com. I'm logged in, so I'm gonna log out to show you where you would sign up scroll this over here so it's close and I'm actually going to put a link down below if you do sign up for Printful it's totally free to sign up there are no order minimums and you don't pay for that out of your pocket it's going to come out of the money that goes into your Etsy account when you sell so if you can use your referral link down below it helps me out a little bit um, and it also shows me that you like this video and you want to see more like it um, when you come in and click on links like that so I'm gonna show you how start selling is what you wanna click on, and then it's gonna ask you to sign up for Printful. It is so easy to sign up. It is just gonna be like you did with Etsy. So I do sign up with Facebook. You could do sign up with Google or sign up with your email. Once you sign up, it will walk you through some tutorials, um, which you don't need right now because I'm gonna show you how to connect everything, but you can come back and watch the tutorials if you want to. So I'm actually just gonna sign in here click sign in with Facebook. And now this is my welcome page. So I haven't added some of these things that I need to put in here on this particular account. There's a lot of things down here. They give you challenges. If you meet the challenges, like adding your first product in, you get perks, um, like coupons off of purchase is you can go shortcuts over here there's a lot of different things to explore they have some awesome videos on how to use it but we're actually just going to come in here and connect our store so on the left hand side you'll see the little store icon click on it and I already have my Etsy store connected, so we don't need to connect it. But when you first come in here, you're gonna see want to create a platform or want to connect with a platform. You could compare platforms. 
um, and it will give you this page, or this is gonna be the same page as it gives you if you just click this little plus button right here. So we click on plus, and you're gonna do Etsy, click on learn more, and then it's gonna ask you to connect your Etsy store. So all you're gonna do is click this button, it will connect your Etsy store. There's no fee to connect your Etsy store. Um, there is a fee after you sell. So Etsy uh, charges 5% per transaction fee and then 20 cents each product that you add. The product stays on there for four months and then you have to renew for another 20 cents. So I think this is fantastic, a way to get started without putting a whole lot of outlay. So you can add, up to 20 products for like $5. You can continue to add products as you go and you're only paying 20% or 20 cents per product that you add. So it's incredibly cheap to do print on demand this way and it's all set up for you because Etsy already does their own marketing. So you're gonna connect your Etsy store and then you're gonna come back here to your main dashboard and we're gonna add a product. So now I'm gonna show you how to add that chicken mom shirt that I created for us. So I'm gonna click add a product right next to my store. And this is where your stores are gonna appear too. So we'll click add product. And now you're gonna pick your design. So I recommend that you go with an inexpensive t-shirt. If you come in here to men's clothing, you can do a unisex t-shirt. I go all shirts. So unisex, it's gonna mean that it can be for a woman or a man. I like this unisex basic soft style Gildian to Gildan t-shirt. Um, so I have ordered samples of this. They look great. They feel great. They're fine t-shirts similar to quality you would get at Walmart. You can do another style like the Bella t-shirt is a much softer shirt um, and it goes up to a little higher size and you can get it in a ton of different colors. If you're just going to do black t-shirts, you don't need to worry about that. The only drawbacks to using the Bella shirt is if you're a new seller and you don't have a lot of sales yet, you do have to price the Bella shirts kind of high in order to make your money back. So if you're just starting out, I recommend you do your designs on the cheap shirt to start out with, and then you can upgrade later on when you get a lot of um, sellers. So if you see the reviews right here, 1,142 reviews, and the majority of them are five stars. So this shirt does well, um, and if you look on Etsy, this is the shirt, this item number is the shirt that a lot of people use. So this is the easiest thing ever. I select all colors, unless it's a really light design and then I don't do the lighter colors. So I'm just gonna do the dark colors because this is a lighter design. I, of course, select all sizes. I don't wanna leave anybody out. And then all I have to do is click drop your design here. Now, these are some of the ones that I've been doing. So I'm gonna upload a new one. I'm gonna pick the I Love Chickens right here. And it's gonna upload right from my download file where I downloaded it. So as you can see, I can always come in and put these ones in here that I've done before on another shirt. This is the one I just did and I'm gonna click place. So now it places it on my shirt. I knew, usually see that they're really small when they come in like this. So, and don't worry about this model. If he doesn't fit your particular shirt, you can change it down the line. So we're gonna click on this, grab the edge like this and just upgrade it to a bigger size until it fills the print area. And then sometimes I move it up and down. I think this one's actually placed really well. And it does say part of my design is outside the print area. It's probably okay, but just to fix that, we're gonna click crop on the left-hand side. And we can kind of bring this in a little bit until it fits exactly the print area. So as long as it doesn't cut off any of the design, we're good, and we'll click apply. So I put, I love my chickens, and I think I wanted, I love my girls, um, but we'll leave this to chickens for now. Actually, let's change it. I did put, I love my girls, so we'll show you how to change a design. So I'm gonna come back to Canva, and I'm gonna change chickens to ladies, because I think that's more of the terminology that people use in the chicken world. I'm gonna download it again, transparent, extra large, download. So now we're showing you how you can just fix a little mistake that we saw after we put it on the picture. So I'm gonna click on this design. Just click delete on your keyboard. And now we're gonna bring in the design that I made before. Upload. Choose the new one that says, I love my ladies. And then we're gonna place that one on the correct T-shirt. Place. Now it looks good. So now we're gonna make it bigger. And now they're telling me it's outside the area, so I'm gonna crop it. And just make sure you don't crop out any chicken tails. There we go, the whole thing. 
looks like it's good. It may be a little bit outside, so I'm gonna move it around until it fits perfectly. There we go. So now it fits perfectly, super cute design. And now we're going to proceed to mock-ups down here at the bottom. And now you can see the different mock-ups. So I could choose it to be mocked up like this on a shirt laid in flat. This is called a flat lay. I actually like this the best because if people see the pictures of the people, they may not associate those people with themselves. It's easier to picture yourself in a flat lay shirt. Um, but I have done mock-ups with people on them as well. So this is a cute one. This is a nice pretty lady here and it shows the t-shirt or you can choose a different lady. I probably wouldn't do a pink shirt with a guy, although some guys would wear it. Um, it doesn't really fit my audience. So I'm going to go back and do a flat mock-up. I like to choose the black one. It looks the best and then proceed to details. And now here's where we're going to edit everything that's going to go right on to Etsy because we have our Etsy store connected. So I'm going to type in here, I love my chickens t-shirt. No, I love my ladies, right? Ladies t-shirt. Now the one thing about Etsy is that although this looks better if I just leave it like this, Etsy runs entirely on SEO, which means that they look for keywords. So if I put, I love my ladies t-shirt, nobody is ever gonna find this. So I need to put as many keywords in this description and title as possible. So I am going to put chicken mom, anything that would go with people that if they're coming online are going to look for this t-shirt. Pink chicken, pink chicken, mom t-shirt and you can go from there and then I just copy this right here and add it to the top of this description the description is actually a description of the t-shirt so we can do this and then I come in here and make sure that everything looks okay I take out some things that don't match I didn't do gray on this one so I took out taking out the gray I can leave the weight of the shirt some people like to know this I just take out the blank product source by because it's not a blank product and then I leave it at unisex and I pick the section of my Etsy store. So I put these Etsy store sections in here. You can create your own on Etsy clothing and you can see the shipping cost here. I'm gonna to talk to you about shipping in just one moment. So let's proceed to pricing. Now, I always do free shipping if you look on Etsy, you'll see that most people do free shipping, which means you need to consider this cost is also going to have $3.99 for domestic shipping. So I put um, $15.95. It'll tell me how much I have left over. So I'm going to make $8 for this shirt, but they're also going to take out $3.99 for shipping. So if I have a store price of $15.95, it's going to net a profit of around $4 per shirt for me. If I want a higher profit, then I need to up this price by like $20 but that you have to take into account that you probably won't sell it at that high a cost unless it's original artwork. If you're using original artwork or if you're customizing the shirt for somebody, you can definitely up the price. So I also tack on an extra dollar or two for the plus sizes because they charge you more for the plus sizes. So we're gonna make this one 16 and this one 17 and that will give us a similar profit margin on the larger sizes as well. And then I'm gonna submit to store. And now you have to realize while you're doing this that it's not gonna automatically go on Etsy. So we're gonna wait for this to load. Sometimes I have to refresh the page. Just close that. Oh, it's still loading products to Etsy. So we'll let that load. Okay, now it comes up as edit in Etsy. Uh, I don't like the mock-up, so let's see what it looks like. Nope, the mock-up is fine. Um, it did a blank mock-up instead of the typical mock-up that it usually does. So I can come back and change that later if I want to. For now, I'm just gonna leave this one so I'm showing you how to add it. So now this is the page in Etsy. So it took us directly to Etsy to just make sure that this looks good all around. Um, so this is the primary picture. I love my ladies, it has the cute pink chickens. And then you can adjust the thumbnail if you want. And then I'm gonna come down here and there's a few things you need to add. So you have the title, um, you have all the things that came over. I offer more than one because I have more than one size and more than one color. I choose a secondary color that people might be searching for like pink. Choose a clothing style, I just leave blank unless it's a specific type of clothing that matches this. I do choose short sleeves, sleeveless, whatever it is, crew neck, because some people search by that. 
It's a physical item. The description is in there. And then I did add a production partner. So I came in here and added production partner and put in the Printful information. Um, it's very easy. You just fill it in right from Printful. So I click on this. And now we're going to add some tags. So we need as many tags as possible in order for them to find it in the system. So I'm adding things that I might look for if I was looking for a chicken mom type shirt. Okay, so I will come back and add more, but I always go up to the total amount. So I have eight left, so I can come back and add eight more tags. Materials, there's only one material because it's cotton. If there was more materials, you could add more. Your prices are already in here. And then I come down here, you could add it to have the $3.99 shipping. You're most likely not gonna sell it unless they really, really want it if you have a shipping cost. So I recommend you hit the printful free shipping. That means the shipping's gonna come out of your profit. Put the weight in here. I usually do about 13 ounces for a t-shirt. It doesn't really matter um, because they're charging the amount for shipping anyways. This is gonna matter if they do do international shipping. Um, and then I'm gonna click publish. Now I've noticed that Printful usually comes out with fill up the required fields to preview or save, even though the fill fields are all filled out. So just click publish twice if you have to. And it's gonna say there's a new listing amount for 20 cents and you say yes. And now if I refresh this page, I should have my new chicken picture. Um, it may take a few minutes, let's just keep refreshing. There it is. So I love my ladies. I definitely need to change the mock-up so it matches these other ones. When you do the checks, just make sure your mock-up matches the correct mock-up. I probably chose a bad mock-up. Um, I chose the flat lay. I should have chose the one that has the nice pictures around it. So I will fix that. But in the meantime, this is what it looks like from the back end with all my current designs. You can now share these on um, TikTok or Instagram or your Facebook page, share it with your friends. If you're doing a 4-H shirt, um, you can share it with your 4-H club. Um, so whoever you can market to, now the marketing is on you because I showed you how to set this up. If you want a second video on how to market these and how I do my TikTok videos or my Instagram marketing for these types of t-shirts, let me know. If you have any questions on how to do it or you get stuck when you're setting it up, let me know. In the meantime, I will put my um, links down below for Printful and Canva. So that is it. That is how to set up your own store. So what did we do? We created a design. We set up a Printful account, an Etsy account, and we loaded a design all in probably half an hour or less. So you can get your store started right away. You can spend a lot more time on the designs. I spend a lot more time researching my designs and keywords, and sometimes I do the graphic designs right in AI, which is Adobe Illustrator. But if you want to get started right away and you don't have any Illustrator experience, you can do it right on Canva with no design experience whatsoever. Just make sure that you choose those Canva designs that are commercial use accepted. So you may need to sign up for the um, pro account for that. If you do, it's only $12.99 a month. So it is totally worth it if you're selling things based on the designs that you make. So that is it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Please hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I do have another video I will link above on how to do um, Canva birthday cards because I love Canva. I use it for everything. If you want to see anything else in Canva, let me know. And as always, I love you all very, very much. Thank you for bearing with me with the screen quality today. I did do a Google Hangouts to record it so that I could show you my screen, and I will find a better way to do that in the future. Um, and I will talk to you all later. Thank you. Bye.